An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A certain way. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, few egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect, George Carlin and Gilbert style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be to the, the fullest. fullest. Let's take a ride on the Magic School Bus, back in time to 2004, when things were conducted primarily on old school telephone systems, Telnet VBSs, IRC chat rooms, on TeamSpeak, and using Shoutcast radio servers. A time before Blog Talk Radio, a time before YouTube, a time before Facebook and Twitter, before Skype, before Google Hangouts, before smartphones, before Angry Birds and Farmville. A time when a wall was something you had four of in your bedroom, and a feed was dinner at your in-laws. A time before all of the things we take for granted today. Let's travel back to the four episodes of the Pointless Audio Radio Show on Osprey Radio. A show that was an act of civil disobedience against our would-be corporate overlords, where we trolled the corporations to reveal their corruption and incompetence, and had fun doing it. A time before my early balding set in fully, I actually had some hair to speak of. You are about to hear a series of prank calls, comedy skits, mega mixes, and more. Before we occupied everything, Back in the days when we truly were all anonymous, when channeling wasn't well known, quantum physics was a word you only heard on Star Trek, and New Age was merely a reference to something that happened in the 60s. Warning. The views and opinions in this or any show are not the views and opinions of Osprey Network. We at Osprey Networks are not responsible or right about now the funk soul brother check it out now the funk soul brother right about now the funk soul brother check it out now turn that shit off man what's wrong with you man get the other record damn Oh, you motherfuckers! Hey, you motherfuckers! Oh, you motherfuckers! 
fucking goddamn degenerate fucking cunt! If your toothpaste doesn't taste great, your kids don't brush long enough, which could lead to ugly tartar buildup. The solution? Regular checkups and brushing with new crust, the tartar control toothpaste laced with crack cocaine. Hey, son, almost done in there? Brushing, get up, brushing. Crust is not only clinically proven, it's also highly addictive. So your kids will brush and brush and brush. And brush and brush and brush. Come on, Billy, it's been 45 minutes. Brushing, 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 brushing. If you're not careful, you're going to wear those teeth down to little nubbins. Oh, God, no. What's wrong, son? Almost out of crust. Hook your kids on a healthy habit for life. Brushing with new crust with crack cocaine. Sure, I'm going to be late for work now, but it's good to see Billy brushing. Get out, old man. This is a carjacking. Billy, what are you doing? I sit out. Oh. Billy, where are you going? Got us all the car to get more crust! New crust toothpaste laced with crack cocaine. Recommended by 9 out of 10 drug addicts. Six four two nine. And say nothing about Osprey or nothing about me. And and because they know me. Uh for everybody at home, this is P-Man's prank call show here on Osprey Networks. This is funny as hell. Blankin' the Okay. okay. One eight 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 four zero two six four two nine. Thank you for calling. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For the operator, you have a buddy that wants to join the KKK, and I'll break out the Kermit the Frog stuff. You've reached the answering service for the IKA night of the KKK. Please say your name after the tone. Press the pound key after you finish recording. Hello, Kermit the Frog. Your call has been forwarded to the voicemail for the IKA night of the KKK. No one is available to take your call. At the tone for the oh, recording, you, 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 you may hang up or press the pound key for more options. Hi, old Kermit the Frog here. Um, I was uh, referred to your number by by um, Big Bird and Elmo. Um, not very many people know this, but they are very much um, um, very much loyal members uh, to your to your group. Um, I heard that this was a, a very uh, well organized group of a bunch of uh, um, racist motherfuckers and overall ingrates. And um, I, I think I, I qualify as one of those as well. I mean, yeah, you know, you see me on Sesame Street doing the uh, the kids show, but I, I think those kids are, are a bunch of little punk ass bitches. Anyway, and they're just going to be growing up to smoke crack. So, you know, I'd, I'd like to kind of get into a new uh, profession. So, you know, if we can go, uh, go, go beat down some motherfuckers, preferably starting with you, um, that would be great. Um, please give me a call back at um, 1-888-FUCK-YOU. Um, uh, thank you. <laughs> Play it back. Press two to send. Press three. three. Review. To send. Surgeon, press four. Please enter your selection. Hey, well, good to see you. Um, I was uh, referred to your number by by um by Bert and Elmo. Um, not very many people know this, but they are very much um um very much loyal members uh, to your to your group. Um, I heard that this was a a very uh well organized group of a bunch of uh. Um, racist motherfuckers and overall ingrates, and um, I, I think I, I clarify as one of those as well. I mean, I said I was really on Tuesday Street doing the kitchen, but I, I think those kids are a bunch of little punk ass bitches anyway, and they're just going to be growing up and smoke back. So, you know, I, I'd like to kind of get into a new uh, profession, so, you know, if we can go, uh, go, go beat down some motherfuckers, preferably starting with you, um, try to be great. Um, please do call back at um, 1 um, to listen to your message, press 1. To erase message sent. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. All right, that's good. <laughs> All right, we need to work on this. I need to figure out a way to tie the phone into my speaker system. Thank you, thank you. Take a bow. That is freaking awesome. And actually, I do know of a way, and um, Eli kind of kind of enlightened me as as to as to the way to uh, as to the way to do this. 
basically, he was um, saying, I, I, wait, a minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know, I know a way. Um, go into the settings, and you can mute your microphone, so that it doesn't come out your speakers. Yeah, I have... Yeah, I, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. You click the little speaker thing on your test track and mute your microphone. Hit the mute button on your microphone, and then it should work, and we shouldn't echo. All right, how's this? That's perfect, and I cannot hear myself speaking. Hold down your button and let us talk for a minute. All right, just talk. Okay. 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 yeah, 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 we're still going to echo. Oh, okay. Anyway, I was trying. What I was trying to say, I know of a way, and Eli kind of gave me this idea. Originally, Eli was saying that you know you take like a phone that you don't want to use, you know, open up the hand piece, and and pretty much like you know redirect the wires. One for the uh, the speaker and the mic. One goes into uh, uh, basically uh, the, uh, the the mic uh, uh, line in. I think your microphone goes to uh, mic in, and then you know where you would uh, you know hear the person. Uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, the problem with man well, the, problem, have, uh, the problem with uh, what you said, Dave, is that TeamSpeak don't pick up the line in. Pick up the line. I know. I know the problem, but I was I was getting to the solution. Um, basically, instead of doing it through that way, obviously, you know, it's gonna like you know feedback and echo all over the place like what it's doing now. So instead of regular you know PC speakers, um, you know, obviously use use headphones, and obviously the speakers on the phone itself that you're tying off. Of helps the feedback. So instead, keep track of uh, what wires go to what off of the actual main cord. Get the physical phone all together, all together. Splice the cord itself and feed it in that way, so that you don't have the uh, the physical, you know, handset part of the phone with the speakers feeding all this crap back in. Yeah. I have a I have a phone somewhere. I don't know where it's at. It's probably in a box in storage, so I probably lost it. But I had a phone with a. Uh, speaker out and a mic out jack, which was kind of cool. Testing, I didn't echo. Hmm. Here, let me find you. You might have it. Hey, do that dial tone again, and we'll all speak and see if we echo back into it. Well, one of us speak. Well, uh, well, I'm doing a new toy here. I have headphones set up to my speakers going into the microphone of the, of the, uh, of the speaker phone. Okay. Uh, okay. Another, 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 another. okay. Yeah, play that dial tone. Test, 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 test. Woohoo! No echo! Yeah, but I don't know if it's recording. We're Please recording. hold while the next tell subscriber you were trying to reach is located. Yeah, but the matter is if they can hear us on the phone. That's what I'm trying. Yeah, I know. I was explaining to them. Come on! You got my damn voicemail. I'm getting the first link. I'm being transferred to an automated voicemail system. How are you doing? You've reached Paul Pelletier of Tune Man Computers. I'm sorry I'm not in the office right now, but please leave a voicemail and I'll be glad to get back to you as soon as possible. If your phone call is for two man entertainment, also please just leave a voicemail in the general mailbox. Thank you. Oh my god, Jesus Sama. Hello, hello. Can you hear me, Mr. Voicemail? Can you hear me? Oh my god, oh my god, what you did to my country, you son of a bitch. Oh, oh I I'm I'm going to go now. I am depressed. I'm going to go take some Prozac. Goodbye. To send a numeric page, press one. To leave a voice message, press seven. And recording at the tone. Oh my god, it is Osama. Oh, you son of a bitch, what you did. Oh my god, I, I am so depressed. I'm going to go take a Prozac. Goodbye. Get the fuck off of my computer. Please enter your password. Welcome to Nextel voicemail. Please enter the... Fuck you! Or, uh, please enter the... Fuck you. Please enter the... Fuck you. I'm going to go phone. outside. I'm going to go outside. And I'm going to dial my phone. And then run like a motherfucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to try to talk to you guys via headphones and computer microphone. Hey, hey, Tim, can you give me a dial tone? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. At sign, at sign, at sign. Alright, hang on. I didn't throw pants on. New player. Oh, right. who the hell guessed one? I don't know. My name is Colonel Lathiff, Commanding Officer, Marine Ground Forces Squad, Panama Bay, Cuba. Oh, Christ. I'm going to get the hell out of my network. I'm going to give you a can of whoop ass, Sergeant. Now, God forgive me, party yourself, bitch. That yeah, motherfucker. You don't, you don't know what show you messing with, motherfucker. You know the show you're messing with. I am Mr. 
Do you know the definition of the word tick? You're about to find out, because Slasher's about to show you the definition of the word tick, motherfucker! I am. Now okay. drop him, did me get the fuck out of the room. Oh, this dead guy needs to go jack whooping, come on! Okay, oh, we're trying not to watch him, get in the boot. I don't know who... I don't know who this, but who, who this guy is, he hasn't said anything wrong. We attacked him. Well, no, he's he's one of those wave things, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, only it's something something else. No, maybe not. Maybe he's real. Okay, Drew, I got it. Well, I know, but you can't prove it. I'm a cop, you idiot. <laughs> oh, yes, he's a cop. I think I shall call Arnold Schwarzenegger and see what he Who is your daddy, and what does he do? All right, everybody be quiet. T-Man, give me the data. I'm Detective John Kimber, you idiot. you have reached is not available or no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, hang on, throw it on pants so I can run outside. Yes, don't scare the neighbors. Anyway, yes, everybody, we know now that uh, Toon Man uh, uh, voice chat naked. Oh my god. Keep talking, guys. Okay, guess one, where are you from? Who? You. Denmark. Yeah, you're guest one. You're from where? From Denmark. Denmark. Well, then you're definitely not a U.S. Marine sergeant. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Have fun. E3, United States Marines, Corporal. But that's all the information I'm going to give you. Sergeant Hulka is signing off. signing off. And Eli, you're... Player left. Hello? Come on, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. Hello? 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 Are you outside? Hello? Yes, I'm currently outside, speaking on my cell phone to you guys. Oh, my really? God. Really? Hey, now I can do shows for a while, technically. <laughs> How are you hitting the shit? How are you hitting the side? Remote keyboard? On my, on my cell phone. Yeah, but how are you hitting yeah, the hot key? key? How are you hitting the shit? Oh, I'm not. I have it on voice activation. Oh, usually we don't have it on voice activation because that, that cut, you know, that cuts off a little bit, but it seems to be working pretty good miraculously. Well, considering the microphone is sitting directly on the speakerphone part of this phone, and then the headphones are literally jammed into where the microphone is, this is doing pretty damn good because it sounds decent. Well, that's cool. The headphones connected well, to the cool. microphone. The microphone's connected to TeamSpeak. TeamSpeak's connected to the internet, and that's the way we're doing this. That's all great for you. This is two men on remote now. I'm currently outside smoking cigarettes because now I can do this. And this is very magical now because now we've got Osprey via the telephone. So call today. <laughs> 401-473-6562 to speak with two men and I can route anybody in through this telephone. Woohoo! <laughs> That's true, Eli. That means I can actually tie into like, that voicemail thing too while I'm on the phone with you guys via this whole setup. Ooh, I'm liking this. Here's a stupid question, though. How are you getting the other phone to answer automatically and then pipe into TeamSpeak? Well, I have to be—I have to dial my cell phone. That's uh, that's how I did it. I dialed my cell phone and then answered okay. my cell phone. Oh, so uh, your cell phone uh, has, your cell phone has some sort of auto answer feature. So after like two rings, it answers, and then boom, team Well, I'm not tied into my house. I'm tied into my house phone. I I set this whole thing up on my house phone, tying into my house phone through the microphone that's on the speaker that you guys are hearing, and the headphones that I have sitting on the microphone so you I can hear you guys. Okay, cool, but my question is, how are you getting your house phone to automatically answer when you call it on your phone? Oh, I haven't done that. Oh, I haven't done that yet. I'm not, I can't, I'm not, I can't do that. Get okay, so who's our next okay. one? But, but the key idea of this whole test was for me to A, smoke, and B, now that we can do current calls, I can hear what's going on, and on top of that, you guys can speak into it. Hey, two men, do you have, do you have, do you have uh, free long distance on your cell phone? On the cell phone, yes. And you can do a three-way call on your cell phone? Yes, we've done it before. Me and Eli have. Ooh. Yeah, so right now I, can, I don't need to be on my cell phone, but technically I can use my cell phone to tie into any other place in the world. Well, we can call the United States. Then we can, we can call the RTA, which is the Public Transportation. 
transportation here for requesting bus instructions. And I've done this before. It was funny. I hope it goes over well the second time because I didn't record it the first time. Hi, old Kermit the Frog here. Can you please tell me how to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> Is it a freaking thing? What's the number? Ah, uh, shit. I don't know it by heart. Let me look on the web real quick. Although, oh crap, it's not even 24 hours. It's it's almost midnight here. Um, the buses only run mostly during the day, and I highly doubt the RTA is 24 hours. Shit. What the hell? Never mind. That's not good then. <laughs> I got it, so I got good memory. Hey, area code 662 842 will get you the uh, time uh, temperature number here in Tupelo, Mississippi, but then it uh, gets you options. You could actually play the movie theater's uh, um, uh, movie list or any other shit you what, wanted to hear. 662-842-8422. Can we talk to anybody? No, you won't talk to anybody. It's just automated, but, uh, you know, I just thought I'd tell you. If you dial, uh, what is it? Uh, I believe it's 1-800-FORD-TRUCK, you get a, uh, um, a porn site. I know who we can call. Hello? Yeah, I know who we can call. Who? 1-888-EARTHLINK. EARTHLINK uh, technical support. Let's talk to Osama's cousin. Hey, let me go back downstairs and do it on the air for a rather than my cell phone. I'm sorry, you were trying to call. 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 I'm
my God. Oh, it takes you 15 minutes. seconds to come, bitch. Man, you, you, you suck. This solves the problem. Five second, if the DSL or sync light on your modem on is your not... On your modem is not... Well, maybe no, no, make it with a sledgehammer. Make sure that your modem... Make sure that your modem is... Make sure your brain is engaged device, when using your device, computer. Your monitor, a halogen lamp, a cordless phone, or the phone... A wind cloud reactor, if you a have solar power generator... Usually, if you press zero, you go straight to an operator. I applied to all It doesn't work that way. This is the pre recording, whatever. For Windows, press one. Please hold while we connect you to the next available. Finally, I Earthling stats! Hello? Hi, uh, yes, can you hear me? Yes, I I can hear you just fine. How you doing today? I'm doing great. What about you? Oh, uh, just just great, just great. Um yeah, having okay. a uh, having a little uh, uh tech uh, tes uh, technical uh, issue with my oifling soyus here. Um uh, just just wondering, uh, 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 I always ask this, uh well what part of the country you in? Uh, well, this is India, Bombay. Oh, Bombay, India. Uh, da, da, that's uh, somewhere near Iraq, right? <laughs> she said Iraq. <laughs> okay, that's right. Uh, yeah, you know, same thing anyway. Um, yeah, just having a little uh, testicle, uh, technical uh, issues with uh, with my DSL here. I, I can't seem to connect. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. What exactly happens when you try to connect? Smoke well, came out yeah, of my computer. Basically, basically, <laughs> basically, basically, basically what, uh, what, what, the, what the issue is here is, um, you know, it was, it was was working fine until, uh, till, you know, Oifling basically started uh, outsourcing the, the tech support to Iraq and with Osama's cousins and whatnot. And uh, uh, basically, you guys are just reading from a script, and you guys really don't know don't know anything. And you're like, you know, getting paid like like three cents an hour and whatnot, which I think is really unfair to, to you guys that that they're kind of fucking in the ass there with with the wages and, and whatnot. But you know, it's like Oifling is uh, screwing over American jobs here, and you know, we we. We don't we don't appreciate it. Um, you know, basically, uh, I know that's not your fault uh, specifically or, or nothing, but 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 you know, it's just like you know, somebody needs to take the uh, the the, uh, the Earthlink uh, uh, CEO and give him a good old uh, uh, USA red, white, and blue beatdown, if you know what I mean. Okay, but can you tell me what's the technical problem that you're facing regarding your connection? Uh, yes, uh, the technical problem on uh, the technical problem I'm facing is that uh, I'm calling from the United States, getting uh, first. Four Voice class tech support from a third world country, and that you guys are hot as fuck to understand. You can't even speak English, Perfect. and okay, know, that's one of the main problems. If you if you are, if you are going on speaking in this language, I need to drop the call. This is a professional call. Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I apologize. I will I will speak in a in a manner that you are more accustomed to. Hello, I am the customer, and I am having very very much problem. Um, it's very very much like like uh, dysfunctional cow that I. I ate for hamburger yesterday, and um, um, basically I'm I'm having very very much problem. Can you help me? Okay, well, uh, are you talking on a speakerphone? Yes, you're yes, not, I am talking. I am talking very much on a speakerphone, and uh, basically it does not matter because you are you are you are not realizing that uh, that that I am I am uh, basically uh, making fun of you, and that I am not really calling for any uh, technical support at all, and that you are you are uh, you know pretty much being uh, recorded for for radio show to to make. To make fun of Earthlink on the entire on the entire internet because okay, um, we, we do not appreciate the uh, we do not appreciate how you are stealing our jobs. Thank so you know, go get the job. Go, 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 get the, go get the job uh, at Seven Eleven and, and what not. You know, because that is that would be very good. Very good. Do not steal our job. Get an office over over where you are and and you know do your own thing. But do not steal the American jobs. That is very bad. Some cut hung up on us. <laughs> I expect. It. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Welcome to Osprey, boys! Welcome to Osprey! Woohoo! Woohoo! Eli, you That's said it. something? Eli, was that Eli, not great? How about assholes online next? How good of a job did I do, guys? I will commend you on that one time. I will commend you. Well, thank you. What, what was that Eli didn't catch? We hear you talking, and Eli, we see you keying up, but you don't speak it. Hey, Slasher, what do you think? I liked it when I said there was smoke coming out of my computer. <laughs> I don't think she heard that one. Yeah, but what did you think of how I handled it? That was funny. Go ahead, Eli, speak. Oh, me and my friends used to do prank calls all the time. You're keying up, but you're not talking. So, yeah, I rack. Same shit, you know. <laughs>
You're keying up, but you're still not speaking, Eli. Is that better? Yes. Yes, 10-4. Let's call the Raylians. There you go. We oh, yeah, let's up. call them. Let's call them. Thrasher, <laughs> Thrasher, do me a favor. Yeah. You have to send me this recording, yeah. like, tonight. <laughs> oh, God, I gotta have that. Yeah, but it's T-Man Show. All right, let's call the Raylians. One, eight, six, six. six. <laughs> eight, nine, five. Four, two, oh, two. And this one's mine. Okay, I was gonna say, either you were a Thrasher or you have reached the Raylian movement. If you would like to leave a message, please leave your name and number, and someone will get right back to you. If you want to send a message, please press start now. Thank you, and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Hello, you've reached hell. My phone number is H A W Rocky 6 Six six six. Uh, six, six. Operator, what's the number for nine one one? Hey, hey, excuse these buffoons. Uh, I, I've just been abducted by aliens, and I need your help. Um, I they they r really messed me up, and, and I need, I need no, your help. Can you help me? Please? Please. I, I need to make, make, you make me some some help. Of this. Please help, God. Please help me. Okay, we'll have to find something else then, huh? <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Sierra Tech Support! Sierra. Wait, Sierra. Wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Um, if there's some sort of 24-hour thing for Walmart, I think Slasher might want to do that. Some office for Walmart. Oh, yeah. All right, let's find Walmart's phone number then. And, and, and I got one too. We can call it Best Buy and ask for like a floppy drive controller. <laughs> No, no, dude, 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 ask for an MSM, dude, ask for an MSM controller. They haven't had those since 8086. For what? Oh, here we go, hang on, hang on, hang on. Does anybody have a 24-hour Walmart at the, in their state? Uh, uh, I can, yeah, I'm going to of them. I'm going to Walmart.com and I'm getting the number. For, for, for Best Buy, ask for an MSM disc controller, because they haven't used those since the 8088. T-Man, T-Man, I got my Walmart. 800 number? No, you said local Walmart. Yeah, yeah you said local. Yeah, local to me. I meant cool. uh, fuck. Where you at? I'm in Rhode Island, dipshit. Oh, hang on, hang on. I thought you said you got unlimited long distance on that thing. Yeah, Not on your phone. phone. Oh, all right. Thank you for calling the Walmart customer, Sam's Club member, and associate partner hotline. If you are a Walmart customer, press or say one. If you are a Walmart... Please listen carefully to the following options for routing your call. For the location for of your routing nearest Walmart store, Walmart, 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 Express, press or say one. If you are calling about the Walmart private label credit card or the Sam's Club credit card, press or say two. To obtain assistance from our customer service department, press or say three. Say three. One person. All center. Our office is currently closed. Asshole. Next yeah, total. Uh, hang on, let's find something. 1-800-BEST-BUY. Yeah, I don't think they'll be open. Yeah. Need to find one. I'll go one. Who wants it? Uh, Eli, ask for a Commodore 64. Keep the for Commodore 64. Best Buy for business. Be source for brand name, business, IT products, and services. If you're a business customer, press 1. If you're a government agency or educational institution, please press 2. 2. 2. <laughs> This is funny. Moon, man. <laughs> Our offices are now closed. Asshole! We need to dial it now. And you can always place an order. Asshole! Uh, 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 what's your uh, local state um, tune, man? Rhode Island, 401. All right. What's your zip code? 21, what's your zip code? 028. Okay, 028 what? Eight. Two. Start from the beginning. Go oh, slow. 02838. I have numbers for every store in your area. Call the talk line. It's 800 400 talk for exciting people nationwide 800-400-TALK let's call up a local radio station in uh, T-Man's area hey hey I've got store numbers for every air everyone in your area T-Man all the Walmarts in your area and they're all 24 hours Ooh, Flasher gets this yeah, one. I've got yeah, local, I've, and he gets the top five numbers. Number. All right, what are they? Walmart. Flasher okay, gets this. Okay, um, hang on, hang on. Now. Diamond Road. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Diamond Road Hill. I mean, Diamond Hill Road. Is that near That's you? That's not twenty-four. That's not twenty-four hours. Uh, North Alto. Okay, Washington Street. That's not twenty-four hours. Well, it says it is. Hartford Avenue. What's the number? Hartford Avenue. Five oh eight nine six six seven six three three. I'll use flasher. Yeah.
Headphones, yeah. Walmart security. Yeah. Walmart security? Yeah. Uh, I thought I was calling customer service. No, this is um, the Walmart Bellingham store. Can I help you with something? Uh, no, thank you. Can you transfer this to customer service? This is um a Bellingham, a Walmart Bellingham store. They, they're open at 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, okay. Thank you. Right. Whoa! <laughs> we called security. What's your zip code again? And I'll put in the 24-hour thing to make sure. 02838. 02838? Yeah. All right. There are three stores in your area that, okay. Walmart Supercenter store. Paramount. Drive 5082 uh, okay 508822 yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, get off the phone. Here's another one. Oh, I got one for us, guys. How about Stop and Shop? Yeah, okay. Well, here's another Walmart. Uh, stop and Fuck? Oh. That's not local, Three. Eli. That's Connecticut. Okay, 401, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Libyan. Yeah, Westerly. Yeah, Westerly, yeah. What do I say? Fuck right away, Flash. Come on, answer the phone. Oh, here we go, guys. I got one for us. I got one for us. It's the old gas station I used to work at. It's an old co Plus. Are you ready for that? Coca Cola. Hello, Colin. Can you help you? Can you repeat yourself? Hello? 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 Good time. 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 It's with Elmo! Put them down. I think the guy hung up on us. Hey, okay, yeah, you I think so too. We, we need to yeah, go down to the one. Yo, 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 guys, guys, guys. Two men is 401 area code locally. Yeah, yeah where that. is it? Uh, double A 24 hour taxi service, 623 Hartford <laughs> Avenue, Providence, Rhode Island. Yep, local. Area code 401. 521. 4200. Eli or Slasher. Go ahead. Okay. Taxi cab dog for a corpse. Do that one. That body to deliver. Can't afford a hearse. So much for 24 hours, huh? What the fuck? Answer! Taxi. Yes, I'd like a ride. I'm at uh, 258 Post Road. We have no taxis available. Uh, okay. Can you tell me uh, some other taxi company that I could call? Yeah, you want Warwick, right? Wow, you sound what? hot. Are you in Warwick? Yes. Okay, because we can't go into Warwick. There's 461 461 0780. That's me, taxi. That's a Warwick taxi, honey. Cool, thank you. Uh, what are you wearing, by the way? <laughs> what? what? What do you happen to be wearing? You sound sexy. Honey, I'm wearing a Scooby Doo shirt. Cool. Bye. I like Scooby Doo. <laughs> Bye. Later, taxi. <laughs> Erotic taxi cab call, dial one. Did you get the number in? <laughs> no, I thought one of y'all would. Oh. God damn it. She sounded oh, like she was already. Right. Taxi cab company. Hold on, did, he, did she say blue cab? I have the white pages thing up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> call her back. I gave her the address for the Walmart. Are you serious? Hello? You guys want to call Wendy's? Look up Wendy's. No, we need to call like some little dinky place. Some little dinky no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Call Wendy's and say, uh, hi, man, please speak with Wendy. I heard, I heard she's sexy. <laughs> Some call that chick. No, no. Call, call, call and ask for Dave Thomas. I would really oh, like to Dave Thomas. Thomas. I would really like to grab her buns, man. Oh God. <laughs> here, um, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Ready. Oh, wait. Call, um, how do I call, uh, caller ID? Star sixty-seven, but I don't know if it, I, I think it differs from state to state. It's not. Looks like it works. Um, Bad guys. <laughs> well, we're calling. <laughs> Wendy, right? Yes. Hello. Hi. I got a, I got a question. Um, what kind, of, what kind of hamburgers uh, you got over there at Wendy's? I, I heard you got some, uh, some good deals. Uh, we don't have anything right now. We're closed. Oh, really? That's a shame. I was really looking forward to, to grabbing Wendy's buns. I heard they're nice and, and plump and delicious. <laughs> Man, man, what no no See, mine answered. Yours didn't answer. Hey, that that chick at the uh, the um, the uh, taxi cab. That was that was cool. Eli got her to tell tell her tell him what she was wearing. Yep. Let's social engineer someone. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, two minutes. Best taxi right. service. Right. Best taxi service. Four eight one Chestnut Street. Local I'm to you. I'm not calling it. I'm not calling another tax company. No, why? No, no. Homie, don't play that game. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. I got a, I got a, fine, I got a good one. I got a good one. Corporate taxi and limousine, 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 limousine. No, 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 no. Yeah, we order a limousine. Call, call, call corporate people. The corporate all right, people. All right, I'm with the man. I like it. I like it. In Rhode Island, right? Yeah. Okay, businesses, Rhode Island. Oh God, I got a good one, but they probably wouldn't be open. Ooh. What's your zip code again? 02838. Write it down. SSI Disability in Rhode Island. Post. I don't know if you want to go messing Monday. with the government. Yeah, especially with prank calls. There we go. Gee, man, we can get the National Weather Service in your area. Weather oh, Service dude. in your area. Dude, 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 dude. You know who's really easy to mess with, and this is probably everywhere? Dunkin' Donuts, man. Those guys are idiots. Oh, in this area. Oh, in this area. Then in 7-Eleven, that's 24 hours as well. How about Kent County Memorial Hospital? I won't call a hospital. Call no, a hospital. no, 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 no. Let's not go there. That, that, no, that's above and beyond mean. No. Who are you calling? Who are you calling? Welcome to AOL Member Services. To ensure quality customer service, oh, your call may be monitored or recorded. Welcome to AOL Member Services. To ensure quality customer service, your call may be monitored or recorded. This one's mine. Unfortunately, the wait time for certain okay. types of phone support is expected to be more than five minutes. Asshole. Oh, fuck that. Get online. Then you don't have to wait. No, it's not usually And billing support representatives can usually be reached in less than 15 seconds at keyword live help. Live help. Live help. It's easy and it's secure. If you can't get online, or if you're considering canceling your account, please stay on the phone to speak with a representative. And the other support button is sign on now and go to keyword live help. But as you think, you have to do it as you help you need as fast as possible, I need to find out who you are and why you're calling. Why are you calling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here are the following keywords. You can say sign up, tech support, password. Tech support. Tech support. Tech support. Okay, tech support. Are you calling about either installing or upgrading AOL software? No. Yes. No. Okay, let's look up your account so that I can pass the information on to the consultant. The information will have to be deleted. Sorry, I didn't understand. Please enter or say your evening telephone number, including the area code. One digit at a time. Thanks. Please tell me just the first three letters or numbers in your screen name. BBS. BBS. Let me make sure we've got the right account. Your screen name is spelled E B S T U N E M A N. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Last question. Which type of computer do you have? A PC or a Mac? Thanks. I'll get a consultant on the line. Please hold. I'm not even connected to the microphone now. That message. Hey, you know what, guys? If it's mail, I can do a pretty good email impersonation over uh, digital recording. I could see if I could get them to like hit on me and shit. Oh. Thank you for calling AOL. Oh. If you're calling AOL, this is Dennis. Where can you get your first, first, last, name, your first last name, please? Oh, uh, my, my first, first name is Paul. Last name, last name, Paul. Hi, hey, Paul. Could you spell your screen name for me, please? Sure. B B S E U N E M A N. All right, let me uh, cut up on the screen here. Not too happy right now at all. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Uh, you gave me B D S T U N E M A N. Is that correct? That's correct. I'm not finding an account with that. Beta, beta, C. Sierra, Tango, Uniform, November, Echo, Mike. BB, right? Beta, Beta, Sierra, BBS. Sir, you don't have to yell, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. You weren't hearing me, so I'm sorry. No, I wasn't understanding you, sir. I was hearing you just fine. Um, you don't have to yell at me. In Scream at me again, you'll hear me, okay? Oh, be condescending you're again, and you'll hear Mina. Sir, there's no supervisor here. There's me, and I'm going to try to help you, but I'm not going to be yelled at, okay? Okay, I didn't mean yelling at you. Thank you. Now, what is the problem, and how can I help you? I'm having, I can't connect to AOL. I, my modem's plugged in, I guess, and wires are on, and... Connect through a DSL, or you connect through a cable? I'm, I'm connecting through a cable. Cable modem. And who's the cable provider, sir? Uh, Cop Communications. All right. And can you get to the sign on screen for me right now? Uh, yep, I'm... All right. And uh, what does it say on the location? Uh, the uh, location. This new location. Yeah. Is there anything else in the drop-down list there? Uh, then I got it. All right. Can uh, go ahead and click on the button that says sign on options for me, please? Not on anywhere on the... Um, what version of the software do you have? I've got nine. And at the... Do you think somebody hacked my AOL or something? Oh, I don't think so. Um, 
Oh, go ahead and shut it. Tell what you got there, sir. And we're gonna try this a little different way here. Okay. This is funny as shit. Are you on a work computer? Or is this your computer at home? This is my computer. Okay. What happened? But let's get out of that error message there. Okay. And if you go to the, um, can you get to the start button? We'll let you do that. Which version of Windows, by the way? Oh, XP. Windows XP. Okay. Yep, All right. And from there, oh, hold on one second. From there, if you go to All Programs, you see a America Online folder. All. I don't see an all regular. And that the regular programs. Yeah, it just says programs. And you, are you sure you're on Windows XP or is it Windows 2000? Oh, this. Has all right, and it just says programs, huh? Okay, it says run, help, work, start, setting, doctor. All right, well, let's go to programs. Okay. Hey, I'll take your word for it. Oh, my God. I installed too much stuff on here. Five pages long. All right, we're looking for the one that says America Online. Um. Paul, are you there? I don't see America Online there anywhere, huh? No, not at all. Go back to the uh, icon that you normally use to try to log on to AOL with. Did you say you had cable or DSL? Yeah, I, I have cable. And who's the cable provider? Fox. Okay. All right, let's try to get it back to the sign-on screen. Again, and let's see if. Uh, hey, now the icon. Again, freaky hair guy. I think you're having a problem with your computer, sir. That's not AOL related. Uh, I think you need to shut it down, restart it, and try it again. And if you're still having a problem, then give us a call back. What, you, what kind of problems would I be having here? Things are just jittering on me. This isn't. Oh, I don't know, know sir, but it's the Windows computer, so I think uh, anything could happen. Why that? Well, it's like a car, sir. If you're driving down the road and the motor stops, then there's obviously something wrong with the motor, right? Oh, yeah. well, same way with a computer. If, if you're Windows. Windows are disappearing and you're getting these Windows error messages and you're having some problems with Windows as an operating system. Where did you get the computer, sir? Uh, I bought it at Best Buy. And how old is it? Does it have a warranty? Does it have any uh, maintenance? Well, it's about a year old. It's, uh, but you might still be under warranty. It's with one gigahertz uh, thing. I, I think uh, I would check with those folks to see what kind of warranty you have, sir, because I think you have a problem with Windows. Really? Yes, sir, I do, unfortunately. So do you suggest we switch to Linux? I, I would not try that in the state of that computer this very moment, not with the error messages you're getting. Like I say, I would shut that computer down and restart it if you're still having these problems. See, those, those are Windows errors, sir, and I would not try to install anything on that computer until you got that to a technician. And if you brought that through those folks, you should have some sort of warranty service on that. I just, like, Windows it anyway. and, like, put a magnet on it or something and install I have a copy of that my brother-in-law. No, sir, I wouldn't do that. I would take that back to the uh, technical people that you purchased it from and let them know you're having some Windows errors and let them try to troubleshoot that. Okay, so if you're trying to reinstall the software and you're still getting all those errors, it's not going to help. It's going to install the software incorrectly. Okay, so AOL isn't the one that's causing this? I don't think so, sir. Uh, I've heard a lot of things about that new software, that optimizing, that it, it actually causes problems with the cloud. Well, you know, you can blame a lot of things on a lot of things, sir. Um, have you loaded anything else lately? Have you no, all I do is King strike in your area lately? A lot of things affect computers. All I do is come home and I go online. Well, I don't think that's caused your problem in this case, sir. Oh, well, sir, I think you're just having a problem with Windows, and Windows is not infallible. If it was, uh, people wouldn't harp at Bill Gates, and I think your Windows is crashing on you pretty severely. But, but it's worked fine until I installed AOL on it, though. That's what gets me. Well, that might just be a, a strange coincidence, sir. All right, then. So I should, how much, what, you don't have any good prices that I should, like, they're going to charge me for this or something? I don't know if you have. If it's that new computer, sir, you probably still have maintenance uh, on the computer. You need to check with the manufacturer. Okay. Oh, AOL, that's why I thought I can bring it down? Oh, sir, we don't, uh, we don't do anything like that. We don't have people that are AOL authorized or centers or anything like that. I should have put Linux on this, though, huh? They all support Linux? No, sir, I don't think so. All right, then. i got to bring this in tomorrow, then. Thank you very much for having a call, sir. Yep, you've been recorded. Have a nice night. Oh! <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> you almost admitted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Why couldn't he hear us? Because we disconnected the mic. Because I took the mic. Because we couldn't hear it. Yeah, I I muted the uh, headphones because I didn't want to hear you guys. Oh, because what? Because he was like, oh, I don't want to hear the. Oh, you're gonna sue me. Yeah, yeah. Because when he was like, oh, I don't want the. Oh, you're gonna see me. Um, what I was trying to say was, I thought he could hear me. I said, well, if you keep being condescending, you're gonna see Mina. <laughs> That's what I was right. trying to say. You know, you know the worst part about that is that guy was an asshole. Oh, I know. Oh, dude, dude, he's the only one there, right? That's what he said. Call back in yeah. like, um, yeah. call, call back in like 10 minutes and say like you talked to tech support and they insisted it's AOL's fault. Tech support with who? With AOL? Best Buy. AOL? Tell him you, tell him you called the 24 hour oh. Best Buy tech support line. Call him back because he said he's the only one there and say that they're insisting that it's your fault and they expect you to take care of it, you know, AOL. Yeah, that, that could do that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And then, and then on this one, you get to be the asshole, you know. Look, don't you be condescending with me. All right, now we need to find somebody else to call. The Holiday Inn. I have a Holiday Inn in your area. A Holiday Inn? Uh, that's a possibility. Like, uh, hey, you know what? We just need a room for like a couple of minutes. <laughs> somebody, yeah, no, somebody, no, 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 no. Cut, say, call and say that uh, uh, you would like to uh, run an escort service out of the Holiday Inn. <laughs> I have more than one, actually. I have two of them, so we could do it like two different times, do two different things. Two holiday, two holiday. Sorry, Slasher, can you do me a favor? Yes. Stop this recording, save the file, then restart it, and send me the file. I need my tech support call. Oh, <laughs> one big file. Nothing gets distributed until after the show. Um, I, me. Want, me. I specifically want my tech support call. I'm not going to put it anywhere. I just want to play it back and hear it. I love that thing. Just mine. That's all I want. i got to respect the man's wishes, though, T time warrior he said he said one big file but I, I i can chop it out for you well yeah that's what that's what i'm saying um i'm just i was making my comments towards tune man uh, not not you guys it's just after this we record all this whatever i want my tech support thing you don't have to give me the rest i just want my tech support call that's cool at least t-man finally does the show i've got to get you guys got to give him credit on this one yes exactly yeah. uh how about the holiday inn i have two different ones what scheme we want to do i think we would get like room service say we're in like room you know 108 and we'd like to could you please connect me with room service uh i was calling room service and see if we can right. get the room service and, and order something Where are they and then there's like? another one huh? then there's another Where one down they? here that tw could call they're in 401 area code one's in providence and the other one and one socket. Ah, let's call one socket. Give me the number. Four, Four one. Okay. Four one seven six nine five thousand. Thank you for calling the Holiday Express. This is Mark. May I help you? Uh, yeah. Hello. Is this not um? Hello. Hello. Is this room service? Yeah. Is this room service? Is this room service? Is this room service? I was trying to call room service. Well, you called a hotel in Rhode Island. I know, I'm staying in the hotel. Which hotel? The Holiday Inn Express in Moonsocket, Rhode Island. Oh, I'm staying okay. in well, the hotel. Is the front desk. Oh, well, could you transfer me to, to um, room service, please? We, we don't have room service. Uh, you, huh? Well, I was reading the brochure. I have the brochure. It's right, right here on my on my nightstand. Okay. Well, 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 you room for? Oh, is I was it? just looking for something to eat. Yeah, we don't have a kitchen or a restaurant or anything like that. Then like a, a breakfast thing? There's a breakfast bar that opens at 6.30, yes. Oh, so, so there's nothing until 6.30? That's correct. I can't get like a muffin or something? <laughs> well, if you wanted to come down, I can give you a muffin, sure. Okay, I'll be down in just a few minutes. All right. Thank you. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? Dude, dude, call another one and say, yeah, I was wondering if I could uh, uh, set up an escort service in a couple of your hotel rooms. Yeah, I got another one right here, man. Uh, who, who wanted that one? I'll let this one go to Slasher. All right, Slasher, this one's yours. All right, okay. give me the number. 401, yeah, I got the number. 401-831-3900. Permission to set up an escort service, Slasher. I can't do Oh, then, Tom, may I help you? <coughs> yeah, I, I just want to know if it'd be all right if I set up an escort service through your hotel. Um, hold on one second. You gotta go ask permission. Hold on one second. No, you might want to call the Weston. Excuse me. I think she hung up on this guy. She said you should call the Weston. I'm calling a dumb bitch. And <laughs> ask permission to deny us the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> call her back and ask the number to the Weston. No, <laughs> right, call her back right, and say. Call her back and say, hey, you sound cute. Want to go out sometime? You can join the rest of our service. Flash. What's the name of my baby? I'm going to call the Audi and I'm calling. It's like Marcus taking me out here. Hello? Hello? How am I help you? Yeah. How am I help you? Hello? Uh, yes, I'm here to help you. Whoa, you sound cute. I wasn't Hello, expecting... I'm here to help you. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a woman. You sound pretty cute. I'm sorry. Well, thank you. I'm not talking about something to worry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been here. May I help you with something? I'm sorry. Man, you, you, you just totally blew my mind. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, showing up on that one, too. Oh, oh. Alright, no more calling hotels. Oh, I got another Holiday Inn Express on Jefferson Boulevard in Warwick. You what? Oh, which is long, which is hey, guys, 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 listen, listen. One time on some prank calls me and my friends did, they called up a, uh, he, we called up a 7-Eleven, and he's like, um, hi, I was in your store the other day, and I, uh, I, I procured, um, um, two bags of, uh, of, of potato chips and, um, and, and a, a bottle of RC, 
And well, uh, the potato chips made me sick, so uh, so I want a refund. All right, we'll call Sunoco back. We'll try Sunoco. Sunoco. Well, it, was, it was hilarious. Right. It was hilarious because that that the Indian dude, whatever, did not realize that he that what procured meant. In other words, stolen. He's like, well, I didn't pay for it. You don't have to pay for things at Seven Eleven, do you? All right, ready? Time. This is well, yours. Colin. Colin. I have no idea. Oh, uh, hello, are you there? I, I, it's hard to hear you. Hello? Asshole. No, he clicked. No, he's a dickhead. What <laughs> a I didn't say anything I insulting. A, I, I just said it's hard to hear you. Uh, I have a BP corporate cleaning in Woonsocket. No. Oh, oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Can anybody find a uh, 24-hour line? Um, for windows installation, and I mean windows like in your like in your home, and I could say, yeah, you guys got Windows XP? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, you guys are a bunch of fucking liars. You advertise you sell windows, but oh my God, it's like false advertising. <laughs> No, but even better. Find it. Buddy in the mood to call Microsoft Tech Support? Sure. Yeah, oh, sure. Oh, yeah. God. Microsoft. Like, yeah, I, I'm, try I'm trying to install Windows and Apple keeps popping up on me. <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, Let's call them and I'll do Win 3.1 Tech Problems. Oh, God. Hi, I'm trying to install Windows 3.11 and I keep getting this thing. Can I find NTDLR? What, what does that mean? <laughs> Uh, I need a fucking phone yeah. number. It says, I, I need three, uh, EM, EMM386 or something. What, what is that? Can you help me with that? Yeah, um, it says, I can't find NTDLR and something about a floppy dick not found. I don't completely understand. I'm very new to this kind of thing. I'm trying to install Windows, uh, what version? Uh, uh 311 for work groups. Yeah, the guy at the store said it was brand new. Yeah, it, 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 it had never been opened. I mean, the wrap was on the box. I did open it myself, so I know. No, it wasn't tampered with. All right, we need a 24-hour computer tech support. Oh, God. Hey, I got, I got a better one, one, too. Trying, how about trying to install Windows on a Commodore 64? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's mine. That's mine. Go for it. Find a place to call. You just said you found a 24-hour tech support for some place or other. No, that's what I said we need to find. Oh. Hmm. Oh, tech, tech 24 online. They won't money. Hang on. We don't want to do that one. Ooh, I got it. I got one. 1-800-ASK-DOCTOR. Uh, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. Um, call up Hewlett Packard, because I once had an experience with them where if uh, the computer is out of warranty, um, they want you, they want to charge like $45 for the call. I called them once. All I wanted was to know what uh, what uh, F key to hit to get into the BIOS, and they wanted 45 bucks to tell me. So, like, you know, say, like, the computer's, like, four years old. Oh, sorry, it's out of warranty. Yeah, well, you know, I just want to know how to, you know, which, F, which key to hit, you know, to get the BIOS. Call on HP. Hang on. Hi, welcome to Best Buy. We've done some fall cleaning. Please listen carefully so we can guide you to the right place. If you want to purchase you clean product, out your product, product please? existing order, press 1 for sale. If you're looking for help with repairs, installations, and deliveries, press 2 for service and support. Or for information about the room. Best Buy service and support. What product can we help you with? If it's a computer issue, press 1. Performance service plan or have a Medion computer, press 1. If you don't have a performance service plan, press 2. If you have a question regarding a performance service plan, press 3. Here are the menu options again. Teamed up with Geek Squad to provide you with the best computer technical equipment available. For computer service from Geek Squad, press 1. To return to the main menu, better service. Starting with the area code, please enter the 10 digit home telephone number associated with your purchase. You are being transferred to a Geek Squad agent. Your conversation may be required a high level of customer service. And if you would like to report to the conversation, please continue. The representative will be with you shortly. This is George. How are you doing? George, we're on a we're on a plane call right now. Be quiet. Don't worry, I have him muted. Good. Player left. Who's doing it? Who's doing this one? You, Commodore 64, Windows. Okay. Geek Squad, is Jennifer speaking. How may I help you today? Yes, I'm having a problem installing software. Okay, what type of software are you trying to install? Windows. Windows? Okay. And what is your first and last name? Mark. 
Osprey. Thank you very much, Mark. One moment here, please. And Mark, what is your zip code? Uh, my zip code? Yes. Zero two. Um, you didn't want, yeah. Zero two eight well, three eight. My, my zip code. So we can find out what service options we have available for you here. Oh, okay. It's zero two eight three eight. Thank you very much. I'm a little cautious about giving information out like that. Understandable. Bear with me here a moment. And you're in the Manville area? Yes. Okay. Well, we definitely do provide services to your area. Now, when you're trying to install Windows, what is the problem that you're encountering? It says I need EMM386. I don't know what that is. Okay. And what version of Windows are you attempting to install? Um, I'm not really sure. I, I just come on CD. Is it Windows like 98, Millennium? What does the disk say? 3.11. One? Okay. Yeah. Because unfortunately, that is a version. Uh, version of Windows do not offer assistance with here. We only offer assistance for Windows 95 and higher, but you could take it into one of our Best Buy stores. They would be able to assist you with it, getting it installed. They, they would actually help me install this? Yeah. Just for our phone support and our on-site support, we don't handle Windows 3.1. Can, can you transfer me to someone like that? I just need to know where I can get this, this file. Well, you can attempt to contact Microsoft. However, their support is not 24 hours. Uh, okay. Well, um, I, I tried looking up. Uh, is there any way I could put 95 on this? Can you help me with that? Well, as long as you have a working copy of a full version of Windows 95. Uh, I think I think so, maybe. I'm not I'm not sure. I'll have to look. Uh, I got a bunch of disks with this computer. Uh, I'm, I'm so not if you have a, well, Go ahead, ma'am. Because if you have a full copy of Windows 95, we can assist you over the phone for doing the installation for a flat rate of $79.99. That's a, a good deal of money. I didn't pay that much for the computer. And then you may be better off looking into, like, one of our in-store options. They're usually less expensive or, you know, possibly, like I said, there's always the option of contacting Microsoft. It's just they're not available 24 hours. But I, I didn't get my computer from Microsoft. Am I, it's not a Microsoft computer. Oh, well, it's running a Windows operating system. That makes Microsoft able to support it. Actually, Wait, since that error it. you're getting is while installing Microsoft operating system. But it will run on my Commodore, right? Um, theoretically, yes. All right. Um, so, so it will run on my Commodore. I just need to get this file and someone to help me do that, right? And they'll right. do that at Best Buy? Yes, they will. All right. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. You're welcome. And thank you for choosing Geek Squad. No problem. Bye now. Holy fuck, man. You're going to put three Yeah, you're running your Commodore. What an idiot. <laughs> Theoretically. <laughs> nice talking to you. This is the best show we do. Sorry. That's we need to be on the show. I'm putting your shows to shame. Okay, this is, this, is, this is a waste of a dollar, much less seventy nine ninety five. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can install Windows 95 on a Commodore 64 or whatever. To all of you listening. <laughs> <laughs> this just goes to show you how good Best Buy tech support is not. Oh, yeah, Geek Squad. If they were geeks, they would know what a Commodore was, and they'd be, like, they'd be laughing, laughing, laughing their asses off. <laughs> Oh we should call my God. the uh, the combo, I mean the uh, Microsoft Tech Support and say Geek Squad said that I could install uh, this and we'll play that back for them and say, well, uh, I'd like a copy that will run on this. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I guess we don't. Have, I don't. Have, I guess we don't have to call India to talk to fucking morons that don't know what they're doing. <laughs> this is hilarious as hell. <laughs> Anyway, put your FTP up if it's I, not. I want to do something. I call Coca Cola. Information or questions about promotions, press 1. My FTP For all other information, down, press 2. Ooh, press killer, two. Coke. killer Coke. Killer Coke. Calling the Coca Cola Company. You will understand that we're going to send a company. Please note that any of your questions are available online at www.coca cola.com. Look at it, guys. www.cocacola.com. Our regular office hours are Monday through Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Fuck this shit! Can't even talk fucking English. Gonna end up with some four. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it, y'all. I got the ultimate one. Let's okay. call um the the uh the Jahazira thing. The um the uh, uh what is it? The Pakistani television station. And, te and, and one of y'all impersonate Bin Laden. Yeah. Long distance, I don't stink. What? Long distance. Uh, long distance long issues. Distance. It's a one eight hundred number if I can find it. If I, it's got a one eight hundred number. Hmm. Hello, I am Osama bin Laden. I am calling up to see if any of you would like to work for the Taliban. Hey, Time Warrior. We have very good benefits here at Al Qaeda. Uh, 
Coca-Cola.org does not work. KillerCoke.org. Yes, we just called me again. Time for another cigarette. <laughs> oh. Uh, this is fucking great. And talk to you guys while on the phone while smoking a cigarette again after making numerous yeah. great calls. <laughs> but here in Austin, we don't do things like that. We get right down to business. We don't make crank calls. We make calls that make you laugh. Calls that are pleasurable. Yeah, what we do. We, we, make calls that, that we make calls that prove that corporations are assholes that don't know what they're doing. Social disobedience. <laughs> Uh, Eli, I think we should make that a, a topic on the round table. What, Just on what she video? said, that you can install Windows 95 on a Commodore 64. Let's make it a topic on your show, man. You don't want to show? Oh, yeah, that's true. I think we discussed that then right now. Before we make any more phone calls, then I said we call the AOL guy back and say that your Commodore 64 won't install AOL 95. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Nature's calling me and won't go to voicemail, so I'll be right back. That's no fun. Shit, I can do that while on the phone. While talking to you guys. That's TMI, T man. What's your local newspaper, man? Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think we officially call him up and tell them that um, uh, their computers are all, um, that we can we install the, uh, Windows 95 on it, uh, Commodore. <laughs> Although it can't be a Commodore 64. How about a Commodore, uh, how about an Amiga? How about an, a Commodore Amiga? Nah. You guys heard of those? Uh. Yeah, I know what it is. How about, how about... What's your local newspaper? How about we call Computer House Emergency Tech Support Computer House Technology Center. It's a 1-800 number in Galloway, New Jersey. All right. Can I do it on the phone? Uh, let me try here. Yeah? You going to do it, Slasher? No, you are. No, I am. I am. What are we installing this time? If I can. Okay, give me the number. I can call right from my cell phone. Okay, 1-800-372... Uh, one second, let me run over to my dad's van and write it on the window. Alright, 1-800-372-6834. Yep. Are they 24? Yeah, yeah, 24. Are they 24 hours? Yes, yes. Alright, who's taking it? Eli, and he's got Windows 95. Alright, Eli, this is all you. Why not me? Because uh, I can't keep a straight face. I'll start laughing. All right. What am I installing? You've installed Windows 95 onto your Commodore 64, and now it's giving you uh, an error when you try to uh, install uh, Win uh, AOL. <laughs> All right. Guys? Yes. Yeah, we're still here. And uh, order products 24 hours a day. You can also reach us via email at support at computerhouse.com. If you'd like to leave a message, please press 9. After recording, you can hang up. The call is being transferred to the receptionist. You want me to do this? I I can do this. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, okay. Hi, this is Trey calling. Please leave your message at the tone. Hello. Um, I bought a com <laughs> computer from you. My name is John, and the reason I'm calling is someone at Duke Geek or something like that told me that I could install um, Windows 95 on a Commodore 64, and I'm hoping you guys can give me the support to do this. Um, can you give me a phone call at one six zero seven four two two nine seven three two? Yeah, like I said, my name is. John, and I'm trying to install Windows 95 on a Commodore 64, so can you please help me as soon as possible? I need to get online. None of my girlfriends won't talk to me, and that's the only way I can talk to her, and that's the only computer I have, so please give me a call quick. Huh? <laughs> No, that's government. So, it's the governor. Yeah, we heard that. Hello? We can barely hear you, team. Right, we need somebody else to call. Barely hear me? How about now? Yeah, now now we can't. That's much better. And I, had, I had to adjust the mic. I have 1-800 numbers for government. and I want to call government? Ooh, rabies information. Rape victim, rape victim assistant. Assistant. Rest home complaints. Yeah. Revenue department. Rural health. Who's your cable companies out there, guys? Call up a cable company. 1-800 Comcast. Oh, runner. What we're saying and who's doing it? I'm sure we'll have plenty of time. Thank you for calling Comcast. Please listen carefully okay, as any options have going? changed. If you are calling from your home phone, if not, press 2. We are. Comcast customer, if not, press 2. We are. Please enter the okay, 5 digit zip code location you currently have service, location you want service. What's your zip code? 38804. 
Thank you. For quality and training purposes, your call may be monitored or recorded. I know. I actually have a... Please wait. We're calling Comcast. If you are calling from Northeast Mississippi, press 1. Press 1. Gaston, press 2. Huntsville, press 3. If you are currently a Comcast customer, press 1. Press 1. If not, please press... Trouble with your service, press 1. For billing inquiries, press 2. Press 2. To add or upgrade service, press 3. Cable television, press 1. For high-speed internet, press 2. Press 2. To return to the previous menu, press the... Please hold while I transfer you. Thank you for calling Comcast. Our office is now closed. Our normal business hours are 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday. If you're experiencing problems with your cable service, please hold for our answering service. Holding, holding. Comcast, may I help you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I was speaking to a representative online the other day, and she told me that uh, you all offered, um, um, oh, what do they call that, uh, a, a business service or something of this nature? Uh, Man. I got one. I got one. It's a 1-800 number. Oh, my God. What a bitch. I, yeah, because I was so going to ask for a legit. I so got one. I couldn't think. Dude, couldn't think. guys, guys, call back, yeah. call back Geek yeah. Squad, try to get someone else, and say, um... That some lady there <laughs> said that you can install Windows 95 on a Commodore 64 and that you uh, called Microsoft as per her suggestion. And they said, no way in hell. And see what they have to say. Okay. Well, I got one. It's, uh, it's Roto Rooter. Oh, here we go. Uh, what, what, what's that? Uh, what's that song? Um, that song, it has a phone number in it. 867 Answer for Jim from Ian Heating. Uh, yes, um, is this 8675309? <laughs> Come on, God. What the fuck is it, guys? You keep getting hung up on. Hey, tune do, do this. One eight hundred. Tune in, tune in, tune in. No, hold, stop it. No, no, tune in. Call that bitch back and I'll start singing. 8675309. Uh, no, let's hang on. Um, might have a number for us call. Uh, let's call Roto Rooter and say our toilet stopped up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's what, just like this what, shit what, what, pouring out everywhere, man. It's disgusting. <laughs> What's the number, Eli? One eight hundred four three eight seven six eight six. Thank you for selecting Rotorator Services Company. Calls may be recorded for quality. Yeah, actually, pretend to be cleaning it up in the background and like act as so be away from the mic a little. Listing order, press two. For administrative and all other calls, press three. Thank you. Oh my God! Yeah, oh, um, no, oh, um, Mike, we, oh, we we having a we having a big problem here. This this toilet's just stopped up, and there's just oh my God everywhere. Just all all these VCs. Oh my God, it's horrible. I, I I don't know what to do. I'm not a plumber. My cat was on the toilet. Me? It, I Hello? just I don't know Hello? what to do. I'm. Uh, you, can you hear me? Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Hello? He's gone. He's gone. I guess the can she couldn't hear us. I I don't think the connection was set yeah. in right. That's the reason they're disconnecting because they can't hear us speaking. We'll, we'll do it when you get back inside, man. I am inside. I'm holding direct phone. Oh, well, they're not hearing us. Yes, all you right, couldn't well, hear me. All right, so totally deaf. Can I try again? Yep, sure. <laughs> Who's going in? Near you. Uh, Thank you for selecting murder or serving murder. Well, after being in the background, pretending to get pissed off, cleaning it up. So away from the mic. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Yeah. What, what's your name going to be? Fuck and I'll holler at you. What? Oh, okay, hang on. What's the number? What's the number? Get Rodo. What? What are you? I didn't hear that. Eli, I'm Steve. I'm looking back up. Hang on. I'm looking back up. I'm hang looking. on. All right. And tell us that. <laughs> I pretend to be cleaning it up in the background. I'm real pissed off. It's not Rodo. Oh, it's not. Dead. Thank you for calling Viking Bending and NASCO Parts. If you know your party's extension, you may dial at any time. Go for a directory by first name. Press 3 for music and game sales. Press 4 for the transferring call. Oh, here we go. I got one for us. Yay. Hey there. You got 
me. I was all uh, Miz. I'm busy doing something or another. So if you leave one, you get one. Don't forget to include it to your phone number or else you won't get one. Leave a voice message, press 1, or just wait for the tone. Send a numeric page. All right, we'll try that one again. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm trying to reach my granddaughter. You're trying to reach who? I'm trying to reach my granddaughter. You please excuse me. I'm I'm a bit elderly. My, my mind don't ain't working like like, like it used two years ago. Well, unless your granddaughter's passed away, I don't think she can. You don't reach your funeral home. So we found we found we found we found I, I have. I reached the funeral. Oh, my God. I'm feeling like an idiot right now. I must have done that the wrong number. Hello? Are you there? Are you there? Hello? I didn't just get hung up on you. Oh, what a bitch. I say we call that one back. Oh, God. Did I miss something? <laughs> okay. Wait, you were away. one Are you calling it back? I'm calling it back. Hello, Redneck Funeral Home. You can't reach Uh, hi. Um, why'd you hang up on me? I'm looking for my granddaughter. That's kind of rude. I, I'm an old man. I think I deserve respect. I done lived a lot of years, done a lot of good, good work like every other citizen in this country. Hung up again. Oh, what a bitch. I was in two <laughs> world wars. I got Roto Rooter. I got Roto Rooter. You got Roto Rooter. Give me the number. 1 800. <laughs> Four three eight seven six eight six. Now for the shit mess. <laughs> All right, I'll be in the background. What's your name? And I'll holler it's it out. I'm Mark Oster. I'm Mark Oster. Hello, hi, hi there. Hello. Uh, my, my name is Hello, Hello. 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 Can you hear me? What the uh, fuck? Could she hear us? They heard us on the last yeah, call. You know what I think it is? Um, talk to right now, Time Warrior. Yeah, see, that's the problem. See, that's the problem. Dun, 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 dun. I, I can hear, I can hear myself through your microphone. Hmm. That's Could what she hear me at all? Yeah, oh, she I'm can back hear there. you and then she hung up. All right, only Eli. Well, I mean, Eli. I can do it as long as the production is right. Alright, give me the number again, you like. 1-800-438-7686. You were on the toilet, and your cat come up there and flushed the toilet while you were taking a dump, and water just went everywhere. And no, water no, just no, went no, everywhere. Company calls uh, me to be recorded for quality assurance. Yeah, you're my two, bitch. Just to need time to help you. Yeah, Hello, I need to hear me. Hear me. I've been, I've been I trying to call like it. something. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hung up on us again, cause you fucking idiot. Fucking oh my god. Call back and CW, be quiet. Yeah, call her back I'm one, more one more time. One more time. I'm not calling One more time. Why not? Man, that would be so funny. Call 986 uh, 75309 again. They're a plumbing company. Alright, that'll work. Everyone be quiet. You're fine, I'll be in the background then. Answer for Jen, 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 Jen. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you plumbing? Hello? Are you plumbing? You be plumbing work. What the? I don't think the connection's right. All right, I'm about to wire up a new fucking phone here. All right, what do I need to do to wire a phone? It's complicated. It's much more complicated than what you're doing. Fuck! All right, won't do that then. Pop the casing off of the damn thing. Pop the casing off of the damn thing. Of your receiver part, you know, with the dial pad and or your your. Did you hold to your face? Did you hold to your face? All right, let's try that funeral home again. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're just echoing right now though. All right, all right. We're echoing like crazy, this ain't gonna work. Oh, I know you are, hang on. There you go. Uh, where'd my headphones go so I can hear what's going on? All right. Are we gonna try Redneck Funeral Home? Yeah, that Redneck Funeral Home again. All right, can I do it? Can I do it? Yeah, sure. Apologize for your crazy old grandfather calling up and explaining he's going senile. Hey, his daughter's been dead for two years. Ah, what the fuck? Hello? 
that one again. There's going to be a lot of dead time in this. Hopefully, take my suggestion. Hey there, you got me. Hello? I think there's a voicemail. I apologize for the female grandfather, daughter's not, whatever. She's not answering the phone. She's avoiding us. <laughs> I think so. Hey there, you got me. Hello? I'm busy. Doing something on our website. Hello? 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 Uh, all right. Uh, let's find some place else, then. You know what I think? I think it's 1.30 a.m. in the morning, CSE, and we need to call it a night for this. Well, that's no fun. Yeah, that's no fun. Let's pick out a phone book and call somebody's house, man. <laughs> oh, God, i got to get to sleep at some point, man. Let's call it a night. There's plenty, plenty more days left in the year, you know? Shit. I want to chat with you. I want to chat with you guys a little bit before I go to bed. But at this rate, I'm just gonna say fuck it and go to bed. All right, one more call and then we'll end the show. All right, I got Pizza Hut. Where are they? 24 hours? I got a 1 800 number. Customer satisfaction. Hey, you know what? Pizza Hut and you want dog meat on your pizza. It's customer satisfaction. Dude, two men can do Chinese. He wants dog meat on his pizza. Dog meat on the pizza. 1 800. Hang on, hang on. Try to call Home back. Oh God! Turn Star Sixty Nine off. Hey, hang on. Awesome. Halloween, Halloween, we're doing prank phone calls. Grandpa. Halloween, we're doing prank phone calls. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah. Hello. 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 Yes, sir, ma'am. Uh, I would like to uh, purchase a casket. Is that is that possible through you? Do you handle that, or do you just handle the uh, the burial? Thank you. Any idea what time is it? It's 2.30 yes, in the morning. Yes, ma'am. Sure is. How long uh, has your party been departed? Uh, I'm not departed yet, ma'am. I have six months. Okay, then. Four more hours, five more hours is not going to make a difference. Can you please call me back at during normal business hours? Ma'am, I may not have emergency. five hours. Right now. Ma'am, I, I may not have five hours. I understand that you, you have problems and, and, you know, but this is a work number and you have a number. This is business. Blah, blah, blah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I would like a casket with the Confederate flag across the top and the... Can you, can you handle that? Or do I need to call somewhere else? What size would you like? We have small, medium, large, and extra, extra, extra large. What size would you like? Or would you like to supersize that? Uh, ma'am, this isn't a joking matter. Um, I would not. I would like... Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I, I'm, I'm about seven foot tall. Okay, so then you would need our extra, extra large. And what kind of comforts would you prefer? Okay, ma'am, sorry. This is his friend. You're like blah, 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 poking fun, and he's like got six months or left to, to live? I mean, do you not have a heart? What is your problem? Oh, my God. I have never seen someone so cold-hearted running a fu funeral home. Do you enjoy your work that much? First of all, it is 2.32 in the a.m. This is not an emergency call, okay? He is not dying or dead. He has six he has to live. Oh, yeah, that's what they say. He could be dead tomorrow. Doctors are not psychic. And you should not advertise a work number like that. This is a work number, last I checked, a funeral home. And, you know, you should have it go directly to voicemail or call forwarding or something if you are being disturbed. It sounds like you're disturbed already without the whole problem. It sounds like you just really don't <laughs> care. So, excuse me, I need to have this number open all night long for those who have departed in the last five, six hours, not for someone who still has six months to live. But well, the thing is, is that he could, he could die tomorrow. He, the doctor said six months at maximum, and they also said that he could die, like, in the next hour, literally. I mean, you know, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe he should take his business elsewhere because obviously, you know, you don't care. You obviously don't have a heart. He's trying to get this done as expediently as possible because he doesn't know how long he has. And, you know, I mean, maybe we're calling the wrong place. Maybe we need to call someone who actually cares. Maybe that's what we need to do. But you know what? Um, this is one of his other friends. Um, you do sound pretty hot, though. What are you wearing? First of all, let me say this. When your friend, if your friend dies in an hour from now, call me then. I will be more than glad to handle whatever it is he desires. As it is right now, he's still living and he's still breathing. And this is taking up my phone, my phone. phone. 
Okay, okay, you know what, you know what, you know what, okay, I'll make, I'll make a compromise with you. When you, when you actually, when you obtain, when you obtain a heart and a soul, we'll do business with you. But until then, we are going to take our business elsewhere, because obviously you enjoy your field a little too much. But don't, don't, sweetheart, don't listen to them, don't listen to them. Um, like, like, like I said, my name is John, um, actually, actually, my, my Shut first up, John, name, get off uh, this first phone. Name, uh, this is none of your business, John. My, my first name's really Danny. And last name Russo, and um, you sound really, really hot. Can, can I like get your personal number? Hey, Why do you want your number? I don't even want to do business with this person. Do you want to date a cold-hearted bitch? I mean, she don't, she don't care that this guy, that, you know, could die in an hour. All she cares is about herself okay, and that's okay. it. Okay. That's all she cares about is herself. Herself. Her facetious and condescending herself. She enjoys her business too much. You get your jollies off. You get your jollies off this or something. You get your jollies off this or something. You know what if what if you had six months to live or less? You know, would you like to be treated like this? What the hell is your problem? If you were in his spot, would you like being treated like this? Would you like it? Tell me. Would you like it? I think the cunt hung up on us. That was a good one. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Mark that one as uh, another good call. That, that's an officially calling a mortuary. On Halloween, officially calling a mortuary and being denied service. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, that's great. I'm just like, right. you, you must enjoy All your right. job too much. Do you get your tits out of this? Oh, my God. You guys did I, did I legitimately so sound pissed right? off? No, I don't. Yes, you legitimately sounded pissed off. Yeah, man, you was like in there, man. If I had not to come in and was asking, you know, how she sounded hot and crap, she'd have been like, oh, man. Yeah, but I, I was, but that was perfect, though. I'm like, well, why do you want this girl's number? Would you want to date a girl like this? She don't even give a shit that this guy's like about to die. What the hell? Oh, my God, that was fun. You guys got to give us credit on that one. That one was good. The three of you did great. <laughs> I, I, well, we, we all deserve a pat on the back well. for that one. We all deserve that a pat on the back for this one. I think this is the only call where I think this is the only call where all four of us took part in it. I did not say a word. That was that, that, that but that was still funny. Yeah, but I mean, oh my God, it's just like I'm like John, dude, you know, shut up. What the hell are you talking about? You know, this is I, I'm like just telling you, I'm just like acting pissed. Oh guys, I say we call her back one more time and tell him he just died. Flash, you can get into this. Yeah, you, it, oh, Slasher could be like, you know what? Your timing is perfect, you dumb cunt, because he just died. All right, let's try it back. Yeah, but we're not going to use your service, you dumb bitch. You can't give straight back? We were trying to get him off the couch. Hey, are you there? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> are, you, are you happy now, you dumb fucking bitch? He's fucking dead. You were a total fucking bitch to him. And that, oh my god. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. I just want him off my couch. First thing you need, you need to relax, and you need to talk to me concerning your friend. <laughs> you were rude to him in his last hours. You fucking, I don't even know why John calls you back. What is it you would like to do for your friend? Raise him from the dead? <laughs> I, 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 I think it would be appropriate to bury you with him, you heartless <laughs> I know those words are only coming out of anger, and you are so upset about your friend. That's okay. Go ahead and let it out. I understand. We're, we're, we're so choked up about it. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> we, we can't even talk with Carl Ryan over here. Hello? 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 I want him off my couch. Oh, oh, heartless bitch, she hung up on us. Hold on, uh, uh, listen, listen, two men, two men, two men. Um, call her, call her back one more quick time. I just want to say, oh, and uh, just to let you know, everybody is going to know what a heartless service you run on our internet radio station. These calls have been recorded and are going to be broadcasted on the air. On the no, radio. no, no. no.
No. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, do it. Do it. No, I won't say elsewhere. I'll just say an internet radio station on shoutcast.com. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I just thought I'd let you know that this has been a series of Halloween prank calls which are going to be Hello. aired on the internet radio station on shoutcast.com and everybody will know what a heartless service you run and your career is what's going to die because no one's going to give you business. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for being on the air with us and hang up on this cunt. All right, guys, that's done. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. I really am dying. I'd be really? No, no. Well, well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, 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 dude. Eli's dying, all right. Dying of laughter. Say it. All right, guys. This is going to conclude the first episode of Team Man's Crank Calls. You know what? Why don't yeah. we call this Pointless Audio? Pointless you know what? Audio. Yo, this is gonna, all this is going to be. Dude, dude, dude. We, we got the last laugh because now this time you hung up on her. That's true. I did. I was like, all hung right, up on this it, car. Right, that's the official name of the show. It's going to be called Pointless Audio, gentlemen. You've just said in the first show of Pointless Audio. It's going to air at least once a week. Um, the host team in with the phone line. And the second is uh, Eli, a slasher, and time warrior. You've been listening to Pointless Audio. Howdy! Hi, I'm Spike. And you know, when I'm driving down Route 9W on a hot summer day, me and the missus always stop at Dickens. Dickens Fruit Stand. They've got everything from fruit to vegetables, homemade pies, but there is nothing like their cider. Ain't that right, honey? Uh-huh. Dickin' Cider. Yes, sir. Why, even though we were late for church last Sunday, she had to have a little Dickin' Cider. Uh-huh. She says there ain't nothing like it. Even my minister says his wife enjoys a little dick inside her now and then. Hey, why don't you bring some home in our protective plastic rib bottle? That way it'll stay fresh. Or you can let it sit a while and have some hard dick inside her. <laughs> it's good at lunch, good at dinner, and there's nothing like waking up with a dick inside her. Dickens Fruit Stand, just off Route 9W and Country Road 69. Open 24 hours, because after a chilly summer night, I like to snuggle up in bed with a hot dick inside her. Mm -hmm. mm. Moissanite is a gem that fell to earth in a meteor millions of years ago. But just because something is old does not mean it is worthless or obsolete. This gem came from space, and the internet as we know it came from cyberspace. The first bulletin board system was created in 1978 by Ward Christensen, and evolved into the public medium that we know and love today. However, BBS is maybe an old concept, and today not very well known. But just like Moissanite, it still shines bright and has stood the test of time. Diamonds are more popular than Moissanite, just as the World Wide Web is more popular than a Telnet BBS. 
However, what people do not know is that both still surpass the quality and reliability of what the masses consider to be a standard. Sometimes newer is not necessarily better. So open your mind, expand your horizons, and tell that to a BBS today. Joseph's Jewelers Online.com is a proud supporter of the BBS scene, and we encourage you to put aside your mouse for a while and not be afraid of a command line interface. Your online adventure does not end on the web, so check out what you've been listening to.